Go, my precious idiots, go. Don't let anyone stop you. Oh, there's only one Sonic. We got a sword. And we combine the swords together in very satisfying fashion. This one literally is wearing a rope on his head. Can you imagine going into battle wearing a rope around your head thinking it's going to protect you from dangerous weapons? That's why he's in the back. We also have a new sword ability, so Sonic's really going to get it. Uh, he is taking some damage, but it's nothing this uh, beautiful team can't handle. Uh, we might have to sacrifice the guy up front. Frankly, I won't miss him very much. He just turns straight into a skeleton. And we're good. We got a new rope. Okay, so she's going to get a better bow, which probably means more damage. And he gets an upgraded rope on his head. Oh, it turns into a hat. To be fair, that will protect him like a thousand times more than a rope. The team looks so much better now and we're fighting giant worms. So we'll use the bow ability to, yep, do a big hit. We killed that worm until it was dead. Let's not even upgrade this time. Let's just dive straight back into battle. Why wait to upgrade stuff? Oh, that's weird. He's definitely a little bit stronger. We're going to shoot him with the arrow, keep hitting him. We might need a little bit of armor, considering I think there's two of these guys. Well, dummy number one got smashed into a skeleton in a big hurry. Uh, I think these two are probably going to meet a similar fate. Though, she can back off, and that guy's hat obviously protected him. It's no rope, but it does the job. And okay, it might be time for an upgrade. Oh, he got a new stick. Go, stupid, I believe in you. They are leveling up though as they go, so they are getting stronger. Now he's got a pot on his head, so I think we're actually going backwards here in a considerable hurry. And you get a better... stick. It's a stick with a ball on it. So we're basically resigned to just keep fighting the same thing again and again until we either win or we give up. And we will eventually win, because every time we kill this guy we get a little experience and the potential for items. I'm pretty sure this is a resurrection thing. I don't like the idea that I have to rely on resurrection. But let's be honest, my idiot up front is probably going to die a lot. He is wearing a pot on his head. So she goes from a bandana to like a leather cap. That's probably actually the best armor we have, with the exception of a shield, which he doesn't like to use. Look, no one ever said this team was smart. That's why there's three of them. Between the three of them, they can solve very simple puzzles, like how to defeat a goblin with a club. And we're going to slam him down. That was 252. That was pretty good. And we fight a bigger goblin. He also has a shield. He's mincing my idiots. Okay, that's just a healing thing. It doesn't actually resurrect. He'll be back next battle. Oh, please don't kill everyone. <laughs> that was really close to killing everyone. Oh good, you're back. I was so worried you weren't going to respawn. So I need to remember to heal my idiot before he dies this time. His level ups though are making him a lot tougher. These guys don't do quite the same damage anymore. But I need all three alive because I need all three of them doing damage. Just in time for him to pretty much lose his health anyway. But that's fine. We got a few hits off. No, they've just got to take a few for the team by getting clubbed in the head by a large goblin. But the price for failure is death, so they'll get it pretty soon. But we're going to get our first level 2 item, which is a star wand. Very intimidating. These goblins better not make him angry or he's going to cast sparkles at them. To be fair, it is hitting pretty hard. I think it's doing 80 damage. And that's definitely going to help. Oh, we got a new spell, so we're not healing anymore. Okay, I gotta remember that. So the guy with the pot on his head is extra vulnerable. But we're going to cast sparkles. What does this do? Okay, that's actually really good. I take back the sparkle joke. What a difference that one little upgrade made. Now we just won. Only one person died that time. Is this guy strong? Let's just lightning bolt him. Okay, he was really strong, so I'm glad I lightning bolted him. We know this guy isn't as strong. Still pretty strong, but he's no uh, match for someone with a pot on their head. And it, like usual, I'm not sure the context of this. I'm not sure if we're trying to save someone or we have some noble cause. I feel like we're just wandering through the wilderness, like genociding these people. I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm always just curious about the story. She gets a new hat, and uh, that's really about it. I would like some upgrades for him, especially armor-wise, because he's basically our tank. So I would feel a little better if we could get something other than a pot on his head. Uh, since this one hits pretty hard, we're just going to use this. Mm, I might regret that in a second. Yep, because now there's two of them. I think the lightning probably would have hit both, and I think we're probably both going to die now. Yep, they got exploded real bad. But according to this, your special abilities will build up to do extra damage. So if we wait long enough, we'll do even more damage. But we'll save up our lightning for the next two because we just want to get this guy dead. Mm, not sure if this was a great idea, but we did get another bow piece. Okay, I have a level 3 lightning bolt for these two. I just need them to group up just a little bit. Will that hit them both? Ah, uh, it will. Great. Level 3 lightning is the way to go. So the wooden sword isn't anything yet. We still need more bow pieces. We still need pieces. But I'm unstoppable now that I know how the skills work. I should probably let most of them build up to level 2 since they pretty much start there anyways. At least for one of them. Like we'll use the bow and arrow. Now that she's level 2, that's going to hit 500 damage. 
Uh, this guy, let's see if we can get his lightning bolt dead. Perfect, and now he's still got a level 2. So depending on what we're about to fight... Oh, that's inconvenient, especially for that guy. And come on, take him with us. Oh, this time no skills used on the first mob. On number 2 here, we're going to lightning him. I need him to get his attack off before he dies. Can I time this right? Go! Yep, okay, that did hit. I think we're going to be okay, because all we got to do is that little bit of health. I still mistimed that, but I still won. Okay, we're going to have lots of mobs this time, so the fights are going to get stronger and stronger from here. Okay, let him get his skill off before he dies. A treasure chest? Kill that thing. We need that treasure chest. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure that's full of good stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to lightning. I don't have... I'm not dealing with that axe. Oh, we're going to get an upgraded pot. Uh, I don't know how to tell you guys this. You're literally going to die. You're going to get crushed to death by a guy with a large bat. And there's nothing we can do about it, but just kind of accept it. Oh, unless we get go like this. Yeah, we got him dead. Well, you're still going to die, though. Actually, we're just kind of prolonging your suffering. Well, there you go. So he gets an upgraded pot, which turns into like a leather cap. We have a beautiful treasure chest to open. I didn't realize this was going to take work. I just want treasure. I don't want to work for it. And there. Did, did that count? Oh. Do we have to hit three in a row? Uh, okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. Oh, look at all the loot we get, though. I need more treasure chests. So we're definitely going to get a new sword as well. That's going to do much more damage. Uh, she gets a new bow. More damage again. That one's got leaves on it, so you know what means business. And our wizardly weirdo gets upgraded from a star wand to a tickling wand. Damage is way higher, though. We're doing up to like 100 per hit. I don't know what these skills are, though. Whirlwind sends a tornado going forward, too. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Hits everyone, at least. This guy's going to spawn a scary ghost in a second. Summon ghost before you die. Oh, inter okay, well, his ghost is fighting on his behalf now. The ghost just keeps on chopping out with pretty big damage. Okay, send in the uh, tornado again. Hopefully we can use this to take out this guy, because then I need to see his firewall for the last mob. Whenever you guys are ready, please kill. Tickle him. Tickle him really hard. No, nope, never mind. Maybe we'll send the ghost out first this time. Go. Ghost, absorb some damage for me. Well, that doesn't really work because he still hits everyone anyways. Well, tornado it is. This gets so much harder suddenly. And how long does the ghost last for? No, nope, he's on his way out. Okay, let's try the firewall then. That's doing tons of damage. 100 per tick. And that's only level 2, I think. Dead. But Buddy Boy up front gets a new sword. This one's jagged and serrated. So we've transcended the ghost ability, and I bet he's going to hit for considerably more damage. Yeah, that was 112 on a regular hit. Uh, I don't know what that does. Oh, it gives him an armor. So yeah, we should definitely try and use that at level 2 every chance we get. Uh, we're maybe going to do this, and I'm also going to re-armor everyone. Because <laughs> I think they're going to need it. Then depending on what we're about to fight, if we could kill him, I would save the fire for the last guy. And we have her tornado, and I think that armor is helping a lot. So that's going to kill this guy, and then we're going to fire the last mob. I, I do, do enjoy, enjoy burning things alive. alive. This is doing 200 per tick, so he's going to melt away. Got him. Look at all that loot. He gets a wizard hat now, which looks good, I guess. It's better than a damn rope around his head. He's supposed to be a wizard. He's supposed to be smart. We're back to killing hedgehogs again. And mushrooms, but I'm going to hit us with some level 2 armor. So that's hopefully going to keep us a lot more survivability. Uh, another hedgehog who definitely can't stand up to us. And then we got two level 3 abilities ready to go. Let's also uh, armor ourselves. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to uh, whirlwind this guy. Let's just get him out of the way. Then whoever's left is going to get lots of fire. 200 per tick and you're melted. That was easy. I'd say I'm getting good at this, but I've never been good at anything in my entire life. Stop lying. He gets a wizard hat upgrade. Now he's wearing antlers now. What's wrong with him? Yeah, you know, it's going to make me better at fighting, putting sticks on my head. Very practical. What could possibly go wrong with that idea? Oh, let's lay some armor down. Uh, maybe some multi-effect because we're fighting two of them at once. We're just going to absorb a lot of damage if we don't kill that quickly. This is just a singular uh, worm thing, so we don't need to worry as much about it. Though we're probably going to lose front boy. There we go. His sacrifice was worth it. Then we'll kill these two with tornadoes. The mushroom has been eliminated. Now it's just time for a you, so we're just going to hit you with everything we got. You're dead. I wouldn't say no to a new treasure chest, by the way. So whenever you're ready to give me one of those, feel welcome. What is this thing? Give us some more armor, maybe. Well, well whatever. It's an evil red pepper. There is what we're looking for. That's got to be full of goodies, considering we're a little bit further in. Then we're going to burn hedgehogs, because it's a little known fact that hedgehogs are in, uh, not immune to fire. 
Uh, so we combine the pots into uh, one of those, and then he gets what's actually starting to be a probably pretty serviceable helmet. Uh, this seems harder than last time. So there, uh, there, that was close. This one's so quick, and oh, okay, never mind. There, and there, and there. That's a lot of swords at least. So that goes there. We have two level three swords now that combine into a level four sword, which is green, glowy, sure. And she gets a better bow, which is good because I didn't love the tornado ability. She now has a bone bow. Uh, this is going to combine into, sure, a new feathery hat. And Antlers gets to stick with his antlers for a while. I want to see what his damage is up to. 160. Yeah, so we're doing way more now. I don't know what this ability is. Oh, it's a stun. That's actually really good, because that just allows us to do a lot of damage without taking any in return. And lastly, this is what these guns do. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Look at all this damage! So here's where we're going to be really mean. We're going to stun the pepper, and then we're going to burn them alive. There we go. We won't take even a little bit of damage. For that incredible battle, I got a piece of rope. Three hedgehogs. Okay, let's just stun them, otherwise they're going to do a ton of damage to us. Then I can let the other skills build up for a second. Perfect. He lost half health, but I'm not that worried about him in particular. Though he is about to die. It would be nice to wait for these skills to level 3 to use them. Wait. Stun. Oh, he survived with zero health. So he'll absorb the first hit, but then we're going to get some level 3 abilities off, like you. And, uh, yeah, that's a crazy amount of damage. Basically, he only got two hits away before he died, and then we can burn everyone alive. Which is just another one of these. They do hit really hard, but they also die really quickly to fire. I didn't like the wizard at first, mostly because of his ridiculous things, but he's actually very strong. And this will be the last level in the forest for the uh, living plants and stuff, so I'm happy about that. I'm getting sick of looking at these guys. So this is two of three of them, so I'm going to go ahead and stun them. We're going to do a little bit of damage to save up for level three ability. Uh, we're going to have to just to get through these. Otherwise, that thing's going to start hitting me and do too much damage. I was hoping this guy would live. That puts us on to a mushroom who's going to do a lot of damage, but we don't need to burn him potentially. I can shoot him though, just to keep him back. Well, I don't know if we're going to win this. Whatever, burn him alive. With mighty enthusiasm, he goes off to die. Oh no, wait, use your horns. They're there to protect you. To be fair, he did absorb more hits than I thought he would. All right, morons, let's do it again. This time I think I'm actually going to use the guns to finish him off. I want him to keep a little bit of health and I can stun and use fire. And maybe that timing will work out not bad. So we're going to level 2 stun. I'm going to fire these guys so they just all die, hopefully instantly. And then I still got a full team to push forward with damage. Though that plant's about to get there. So I would love to be able to stun this. Never mind. Okay, just shoot him then. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And then, uh, yeah, kill him then. Hopefully we'll burn the last wave enough. Uh, so this might not actually be bad. These guys aren't very strong and I can burn them, so... And shoot them. Yeah, there we go. Now we're into a new area entirely. Now we get to fight skeletons. They're already dead though. They're not as fun to kill. Spiders, however, are. That's pretty annoying. Okay, I'm gonna stun you so we can actually get in there and get some damage on. I don't like the way he's pushing me back. And a treasure chest. Hopefully I manage to get that one open. It'd be embarrassing otherwise. Oh, I have level 3 abilities built up too, so might as well... Yeah, that works a lot quicker. Three skeletons. All right, let's stun them. Then we light them all on fire. We should be have these guys dealt with in no time at all. And then we have the gun ability again. So it should take out something. Well, it's stronger than I give him credit for. To be honest, I don't care who wins this battle. I just kind of want it to be over so I can open my treasure chest. I'll sacrifice these guys a thousand times over if it means more loot. Spider is taking on damage. He's dead. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Okay, this is getting embarrassing. And got it. It's all pretty low level stuff though. But as we learned that we'll eventually combine into better stuff, we just need a billion of them. But she gets a better bow now. So she gets a like a recurve bow. I don't know what they're called. She gets a fancy bow. And a better hat. Which is also green. And her last ability was really strong. So this one should be even more so. It's a boar. She did 420 there on a crit which I think is double damage. So she's doing 200 and something per hit as it is. So she's actually really strong right now. now this guy looks really strong, so we're going to go ahead and stop him. We're going to send the boar in to uh, bash everyone for 560 hits at a time, which is actually lots of damage. Nice big chunks, and it keeps going. Regular skeletons, you probably don't need to use an ability here. Mm, these guys are annoying enough that I will use this. I'll probably just burn them. 
Yeah, that'll work out all right. Then for whatever's left, you can just you can just deal with the boar. Got him. More combinations, so he gets a new helmet. This one has spikes on it, so if he wants to headbutt anyone, that might hurt a little bit. And as far as staffs go, I think we're ready for an upgrade. He gets a blue wand. Which, no doubt, will be incredibly strong. It looks like an explosion. Maybe it's just one big explosion of damage. That would be fun. Okay, we're going to stun him. And then we're going to try the explosion if it gets to level 3. Big Boy's not actually as strong as I thought. Okay, we're going to send the boar in because I just, I'm worried it would be a waste of an explosion to hit someone who's already hurt. This looks like a worthy volunteer though. 3,000 damage. Yep, that's just one real big hit. Then the next wave is dead. We're going to send the boar in almost right away on this one just to try and get them knocked down before that guy died. Well, let's just hit it with a big damage. 780 for a level 1 hit. And then we're about to die again, but I think we got some loot. He's always stronger than I give him credit for. I think I'm maybe going to stun these guys, given a sec, just because they do so much damage to my uh, everyone, really. So we can send the boar in. We'll probably also send the explosion in just to get one of those out of the way, and then we don't have to take any more damage from him. Everyone's still in decent shape. Then we're ready to stun again. That way we hopefully won't take too much more damage from him. We could send the boar in again. Yeah, we might as well keep everyone healthy. We still got three of them plus a chest. Exploding spider. And then also boar get in there. Well, yeah, that's fine. This guy recognizes this part. It's the part where the two skeletons absolutely destroy him. It was actually a closer fight than I thought it would be. Okay, I got the chest opened. There is a level three sword, which is the best find. But as far as the new gear goes, it's still a little bit away. Except for this guy, he gets a new non-antlered hat. He's now wearing like a turban. I always assumed their helmets were uh, giving them more uh, protection. They might also be helping give more damage. Okay, I'm going to change this one up. I'm going to stun them right away. Then I'm going to hit them with a level 3 boar. Which might be enough to kind of get through them without taking too much more damage. Uh, it hits whoever's in front. But he's dead. Good. Then we're going to send that in for a big boy to get him out of the way right away. Then it's down to a single skeleton, which should be easy. Then we're going to hit him with that just before Idiot died. Oh, I should have got a level 2 boar. That's fine. We'll get these guys out of the way. Yeah, this battle is much better. It's all about the timing of things. Then we're fighting two skeleton idiots. One of which you could probably pretty much explode instantly. Yep. Then the boar. Got him. But our archer gets a new helmet. A bear head. Oh, we're fighting dragons now. That's hitting every one of my idiots. That's not great. Okay, I'm going to stun you right away so you stop hurting everyone so badly. Then the boar is going in. Uh, this is going to get hard to defeat because that's going to be super annoying to deal with. Okay, luckily so far there only was one dragon. So that's fine. If we hit numerous dragons though, that's going to start to be trouble. We're going to have to upgrade a lot. And the best part is we found a sword. So now we get a level 5 sword, which it looks like that. It's purple. And he should have a great new ability that's probably not a stun. His damage now, 260. I'll wait for level 2 to use his new ability. We'll see what that is. He takes so much damage right away. Oh, interesting. That's also super strong. Okay, we got another spider. Oh, I wanted to use his ability before he died. Okay, send in the boar. Let's finish off this wave at least. Give me some loot. And treasure time. Come on, good stuff. It's all pretty basic. Where do we get so many bows from? Uh, so we can get a better bow for her. That means a new ability. That one's made out of metal. She's got a bomb ability now. Great. We'll maybe give that a try at level 2. Okay, what does this do? Oh, it rains bombs on them. Okay, that's really good for a group setting too. Then I'm going to fireball. Well, I tried to do that before that happened. But this bomb technique is going to help in a big way, especially against groups of enemies like this, because I can hit a whole bunch for a whole bunch of damage. Well, we actually defeated that mob, and we have more health than I thought. We're a lot tougher than I always give myself credit for. So we're going to land the bombs before she dies, and that's going to take a big chunk of his health away. Then she's dead. I'm really hoping for a level 2 wizard bomb. We don't even need it, though. He's actually pretty strong by himself. Because whatever we're about to face, a dragon, is still going to have to put up with that. And Wizard Boy gets an even better staff now. He gets a swirly staff with some kind of meteor ability. And he's hitting for 350. Dragon time. Let's hit him with a fireball. Yeah, that's also really powerful. I didn't get the full status of that damage. But dragons we want to kill right away because they hurt everyone. And we got a dragon. Let's try and kill that yesterday. Yeah, we, uh, we got to play this one a little bit differently. Okay, we're back to the dragon again right away, so let's go ahead. A single sword was enough for him. And we're going to drop bombs on these guys. 
Because mm, I think we can use this Lemothy Meteor against the next dragon to hopefully kill him instantly. Or before too much damage goes through. Then we still have a level 1 ability from Sorty to take out these idiots. Even the level 1 Sword ability is really strong. And uh, the Sword guy never survives. And I got another chest, lots of bows, a sort of garbage. And my tank gets a better helmet, so he should be able to uh, absorb that much more damage on everyone else's behalf. Which is good because we're not going to fight any less enemies moving forward. They're only going to get more and they're definitely going to get stronger. I took a bit of a gamble there by not using any of my abilities for that first encounter. So I'm going to level 3 sword, hopefully the dragon dead. Okay, dragon's dead before doing too much damage. I didn't realize there's only a few waves here, so it should be able to just kind of go like that and they're dead. We got a dragon right away to start this time, so I'm going to drop swords on him. Hopefully that's enough to... Eh, let's drop the bombs too. We can't let all of our idiots take this much damage right away. We still got a level 3 fireball for when we need it. Uh, I think we'll be okay against these guys. Just, just soften them up a little bit. Yeah, we should be able to take out him. She'll still be alive, and then we can drop the fireball on the last mob. Which is simply a spider. So we got that under control. And he gets a diadem. That honestly looks like it has more potential to harm him than it does protect him. I think for this mob I'm going to drop some bombs in, try and get them out of the way before uh, Buddy up front takes too much damage. That felt pretty good timing wise. Here we've got a dragon, I'm just going to take that out right away. Uh, these guys can just get some level 1 bombs. That's enough to soften them up a little bit. Then I'm going to sword them before uh, my tank dies, and he's about to. Then I have a level 3 meteor for the dragon, who's dead. That does like 10,000 damage. This one's starting kind of ugly with uh, a dragon and a big boy. Uh, so we're going to hit a level 2 meteor right now. That's hopefully going to kind of uh, nullify that. We have a treasure chest, so whatever the case, we're a winner. Oh good, another dragon. I was just thinking we hadn't seen enough of those lately. He's going to do so much damage. Hopefully these bombs can finish him off. Great, we have a level 1 meteor. But unfortunately it all combines into nothing. We're very close. We need like one of anything to get an upgrade. This time I'm just going to hit him with everything right away. Try and take everything out before it's... Wow, that hardly even hit the dragon. That was a really bad play. And thanks to that wonderfully bad play, both of my idiots are about to get exploded. He's last, but he's always last. This time I'm going to tank just a little bit of damage to make sure they're both close, and I'm going to hit him with a level 2 ability. I think that's just going to work out better. So, swords, see how that does damage-wise. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else. Now him... He's probably going to get a level 3 meteor just to be sure he dies in a hurry. Or level 3 bombs if we can use a meteor against the spiders. Much better. Hi guys, how are you? Enjoy your uh, fireballs. Oh, okay, I thought that was going to do a lot more to both of them. I just threw this so hard. But our tank gets a new sword. So he's going to do more damage and have an ability. I don't yet know what it is, so we'll wait till it's level 2 to use it. And, oh, interesting, it's like a buzzsaw. Well, that's going to work out pretty good. Um, okay, against this dragon, we're going to use the bombs just a little bit. That should hopefully finish him off. And then we got the buzzsaw again for the next idiots. Everyone's very low on health, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking. Go, buzzsaw, go. Then we're also going to use that. And there it is. Perfect. And that brings us back into the green area. We'll explore that next time and get better loot.